All right, so looking at the thumbnail, you know what this is about. Uh, this video everybody's been waiting on. Everybody asked me if I'm selling the 4GT to sell the 4GT. Uh, so there is another video I'm going to add to this uh, at the end. The truck driver came and picked up the 4GT. She is on her way to North Carolina. Uh, I guess it's going to Apex Ford down there. They're going to check it out, do it once over, make sure it's good, and then it goes to the new owner. Uh, so I hope you're happy with the car. I enjoyed the car for four years. Now, no, I did not sell it to buy the Ford GTD. Uh, me and the wife have been talking about selling the Ford GT for probably six months, maybe a little longer. Uh, basically because, one, the economy is going to shit. Uh, so that does scare me a lot. Uh, two, we owe money on the Bronco and the F-250. So we took the money from the Ford GT, we paid off the Bronco and the F-250. So we are basically debt free minus the home that we live in. So yes, there's main reason for selling stuff is just to get in a better financial situation, uh, depending on what goes on in following months to come, if y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, so yeah, that does bother me a little bit, uh, the future. Uh, first off, I enjoyed the Ford GT for almost right at four years. I got it in November of 2020. Uh, so I'm a month shy of four year ownership. I put 2000 miles on the car, went to lots of car shows in Utah, went to a bunch of car shows when I moved home. Uh, so I did drive the car, I put right at 2000 miles on it. Um, so don't be upset. It's just a car. That's how I look at things. Uh, there's two cars. There are cars that have sentimental value to me. My old pace car, I've had that for years. Uh, my 95 Cobra, I bought it new. The Saline Coupe obviously has sentimental value. Never get rid of that car. Uh, the 93R, although I've had three 93Rs, this one is by far the funnest one to drive that I've had. Uh, I don't know why, I just enjoy driving this one. The first two I, were cars I basically had to put back together. One bottom both his rollers, uh, motors were out of both cars. That's just two more stories. Uh, so this car, the 93 I have now, it's an all original car. No stories other than it had air conditioning and some stuff into it when I got it. So it is what it is. So I do have a lot of stuff still that is value-wise worth a lot of money. Uh, but stuff that I don't plan on selling. Uh, so what's the future for me buying anything else? Uh, I did buy another 93 Cobra. Uh, it was unexpected. Uh, it's a project car. I've been after the car for, I want to say, probably seven or eight years. Uh, about got him from the same guy I got Field Snake from and another two car I had. Uh, that one unexpectedly showed up. He bought a car from Copart from his daughter in Ohio. And he's like, hey, I'm coming to Ohio from Texas. Do you want me to bring the car? And I'm like, well, shit, it beats me driving to Texas to pick it up. So he did me that solid. Thanks, Kevin. I appreciate that. Uh, so he dropped the car off to me a couple weeks ago. Uh, I've done a few things to it. I did make a small video on it. I haven't uploaded that one yet. That'll pre probably be after this video. I'm waiting on a few more parts. I'm going to kind of do that car. It's complete running and driving car. It's just been sitting for a long time. Uh, so I'm doing a kind of a short video on cars that have been sitting for years and years, stuff you need to do to that before you kind of try to drive them. And that's where I'm at is waiting on parts for that car to do a video on that. Uh, that one, uh, I've got some stuff in. I'm waiting on another order of parts and a couple of other things before I can actually say it's kind of a good drivable safe car to drive because it's been sitting for a long time. Uh, so yeah, I do appreciate you guys watching my videos and subscribing to my videos. Uh, Cars are just cars. I love the GT, but after my wreck back in March, I just I didn't enjoy driving the car. Parts are all discontinued. Headlights are $20,000 a set. Uh, so say the car, Blue Book, for $400. Uh, okay. Headlights are twenty grand. You can do front end. Estimates $200,000. We're going to fix it. Uh, but you can't get any parts, so we got to wait on used parts. So the car sets for two years. I can't use it because um, they're not going to total it. So that's just one of those things. Uh, the car was paid for. I owned it. Uh, so it's just one of those things. It's an investment that's just sitting. I did okay on the car. I didn't make a ton of money. I did a little bit, but not, not a lot like everybody would think. Uh, so yeah, it's going to a new owner. That's the last one to talk about it. Just let me know what your thoughts are on me selling it. I did enjoy the car. I did use it. It didn't just sit in my garage. Uh, but uh, just like anything else, it's, it's just an asset. But I do have sentimental cars. Ford GT, I wasn't sentimentally attached to the car. I think mainly because I wanted it red or I wanted a white blue stripe car and red was kind of my last color option. But I did enjoy it, so there is that. And a lot of people, you know, they love the cars and I do too. But I'm going to stop there talking about it. The car's gone. I'm going to add the little walk around video to this video if you want to watch that. I just want to thank y'all for watching and for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you have any questions about the GT or anything like that, you can hit me up, boxjunk73 at gmail.com, or you can ask below and I'll answer it when I can. Uh, so for today, I'm going to do some musical cars. i got an empty spot. I'm going to get one out of the driveway that shouldn't be sitting in the driveway. It's been out there for two years. 
So I'm going to get one moved up here and one more back in the back shop. So we'll get one out of the driveway. Uh, so that being said, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Going to add another video to this. Uh, so I'll say peace out for now and uh, piece these two together. Y'all take care. All right. So welcome to the channel. Uh, saying goodbye to the GT today. Just going to do a quick walk around video and show the transport truck and say goodbye. So let's check it out. All right. One more walk around of the car. Transport truck. So that's about it. Uh, I'll put this video out there. Short video for Sunday. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. And uh, we'll see what's up next. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, remember, it's not just junk. It's Fox Junk. 4GT is going to North Carolina. Y'all have a good Sunday.